Hi guys, Karen here. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. And today I decided to take you guys with me as I harvest some of our vegetables from the garden. Um, of late, I have been enjoying seeing everything grow. We've had a lot of like wonderful things happening in the garden. Things are growing and then we have areas that are just like under attack with a lot of pest pressure. These are the sun gold tomatoes. If you are not growing them, you are totally missing out. These, um, I'm not even joking. They're as sweet as the grapes. Um, they're just delicious. These will definitely be on the list of tomatoes to grow for next year because they're just that good. You can literally just stand there and eat them. They're that sweet. Um, so this is one of my favorite ones this season. Um, and the other thing that I will likely do uh, is grow them along with the nosertiums again. These are the trailing nosertiums and they have really been doing their job when it comes to pest control of the aphids. Amazing. Um, so what I did is I grew them at the same time collecting some of the peppers as well grew them at the same time or actually slightly before the tomatoes were planted and they are have they have intertwined themselves into the tomato vines at first i was trying to make sure they didn't do that but now i can see that that was really really helpful um, as you can also see we started off staking everything and tying everything up but it fell over and at first i was trying to um, stand them back up but i decided to just leave them because once they're bent i you know you can just lose the whole plant so i figured you know just let it grow how it wants to grow and if it continues to do well then wonderful but if it um was struggling. These are the other tomatoes as the, that we're growing. I can't remember the name of them at all. But um, without cutting off the plants, these continue to grow even though the tomato vines, you know, uh, experience some uh, bending and falling over. But um, these are just absolutely delicious and um, hard to reach in some instances. What type of tomatoes did you guys plant this season? Um, around here, we really like the like cherry tomato style because they go further, they're sweeter, and they're easier to harvest. Here we have some kale, but back to the nosertiums and the tomatoes, I'm trying hard to reach back there. We have a little alleyway behind it that I planted all of our um, daffodils in. Um, but when you go back there, you get attacked by mosquitoes and everything. Uh, of late, we have been experiencing, if it's not heavy duty rain, then it's a lot of heat So um, this season. So a lot of things are struggling, but uh, the sun gold tomatoes are not one of them. Um, but a lot of areas in our garden are really struggling due to the heavy rain and then followed by st days straight of just 90 degree temperatures. So I'm just giving you all an overview. Once you start picking, then you start noticing like where are all of these tomatoes coming from? <laughs> it's like you, they just keep reproducing while you're picking them. And this season, I didn't plant nearly as much as I normally do because it was one of my goals to um, not only um, grow in our backyard, but also to, oh, there's some more back there. I'm going to have to go to the alleyway. Um, but it was also my goal to create a front yard garden with flowers and vegetables up there. And so I didn't want to spread myself too thin by planting an enormous amount in the back. 
So we only did eight tomato plants, eight or nine tomato plants. And I know that sounds like a lot, but you also have to remember that some tomato plants make it, others don't. Same with all of your plants. Some produce vigorously and then others will not. Um, and we also have four tomato plants in the front yard as well as some okra and pepper plants. Um, and I'll harvest up there probably next week to show you guys how well that's doing. Um, it's really producing in terms of peppers. The tomatoes have just started up there. That's our kale again. Um, it's looking okay. It's starting to get attacked back here by the little um, June bugs. I'm looking for turnips. So we have a lot of turnip leaves, but not a ton of turnips. So I'm just going to leave this in the ground for right now. And our cucumbers are back here. Um, I'll probably choose a different cucumber style next or, or seed next year. So I'm going to head on to our little alleyway here that will be cleared out at the end of the season and prepared for more daffodils. But this allows me to get to our cucumber plants as well as the back side of the tomatoes. So I'm checking to see. Here we have some cucumbers growing. And if you're growing cucumbers, you know what I'm doing right now. I am digging and looking because cucumbers love to hide. One cucumber. But we have quite a few back here that are growing but they hide everywhere. So I'm looking all on the ground here to make sure that there are none here. And that's the backside of the tomato plants and no sertions. So we're back at the front. In these pots here, we have lots of basil and some pepper plants. Um, and look at the little peppers here. And I have another cucumber vine here and a cucumber I'm gonna take you guys over so you can see our little tiny watermelon patch we have little watermelons yay not sure how these are gonna grow but you know I'll continue to uh, support them I'll support them the whole season to see you know how well they do and this is our cantaloupe over here is doing a lot better than our watermelon, it seems. Um, but um, they're small as well. But, you know, it's still July. It's just mid-July. That's what I keep reminding myself of. There you go. There's our cantaloupe. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.